Now, Mr. Marcos, we are going to play a game today. Okay. It will be very fun and very simple. I'm going to ask you, and I'm going to ask you, I'm going to mention certain things, names, situations, etc., etc., and a, you're going to tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. So we'll do this rapid fire, not pre planned, mm. completely organic. Yes? Okay, okay. All right, let's do this. Get, get into trouble this week. <laughs> yeah, we might. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> What's the biggest pro of federalism? It brings government closer to the people okay. and it allows uh, local leaders to decide on local policy and local conditions. Uh, and well, and I think that's the that's the biggest advantage that it has. Biggest con of federalism, in my view, is how do we move from our system to uh, federalism? Uh, I, I, it's going to be very difficult, and uh, it'll it'll, it'll cause a lot of uh, uh, it, it, there are big changes, which will cause a lot of disengagement and not of, until we adjust finally. I think we have to understand that it's not going to do, it's not, it's not going to happen. The transition is not going to happen from today till tomorrow. Right. It's going to take a long time. It's right. going to How take, take three years, maybe, okay. maybe a little more. Dream job if you were not in politics. Easy. Mm. Astronaut. Yeah, that's, that's easy. Our vlogger here asked, asking to ask you this. What, 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 what you, if you were asked to, if you could go to the moon or Mars, you would say yes in a heartbeat. Yeah, yeah, easy. I actually <laughs> got, I actually got from Richard Nixon. Yeah. When Richard Nixon came on a state visit to the Philippines, I was told to attend, I was asked to attend a state dinner. Yeah. And during the state dinner, during the toast, he asked me to come up. Richard Nixon asked me to come what? up. What? And he gave me the first commercial ticket on the first flight to the moon. That's crazy. Yeah. I just got goosebumps. Yeah, so yeah it's true. What because I was nuts. I'm just, I'm just completely nuts. That's why astronaut, you know, because because when we when my father went to the States for 1968 for his uh, state visit, mm -hmm. I was asked by uh, 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 Congress Senator Inouye of Hawaii when it was our first stop was uh, was Hawaii. He says, "What would you like to do?" And I said, "I want to go to NASA." Mm. So they took me to, they flew me to Florida. What? When I, the, my dad was in Washington, they put me on a plane and flew me to Florida. So nice. And I saw all of these things that I was just like, ah, okay. you cannot imagine. So well, that, well, that, yeah. So you know, go up in space. I mean, it's, it's been my dream. SpaceX is the, the, all the, the, those rockets are huge. They're approaching the size of the Saturn V B, which took man to the moon. So, really, he's he's uh, considering it's a private thing. Right. It's a it's a it's a private concern. Yeah. That's something crazy. Hottest woman in the world, right now. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, Lisa. Second hottest woman in the world. Right now, because I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> it's only one woman. <laughs> Lessons to all the bachelors. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Manny Pacquiao. My great champion, boss, my boss, my idol, my hero. Uh, he really, I mean, the, the he, you know, the, the, he, his achievements are well known to everyone, and he 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 won in eight classes, and yeah. no one's ever done that. Even Muhammad Ali, who is, and he always does it for the philippines mm -hmm. he always says i do this for my countrymen i do this for my country and i think that multiplies that that, that achievement a hundredfold right and that's why he's that's why he, he has brought glory to our country he continues to 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 acknowledge that it is this country that brought him up and made him the champion that he is uh, and for that we have to we have to brandon vera Brandon, uh, I haven't seen him fight yet. We have to go and see him. Uh, but you know, he's 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 always he's one of those remarkable people that really can best be described as a gentle giant. Yeah. Have you seen the guy? I yeah. mean, he's like this big, massive, and he's the sweetest, yeah. the most kind, the most gentle person that you could ever hope to find. And I immediately, when I met him, when he, when he came to that dinner in, in my house, I met, when the first time I met I clicked immediately. The, 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 oh, this is, this is not what you expect. The DDS phenomenon. 
The DDS phenomenon comes basically from the fact that uh, we finally have, after a very long time, an actual leader. Someone who clearly cares deeply and strongly about the welfare of Filipinos and of the country. Despite the fact that he he's not, doesn't take the easy way out. Oh, let's look at the survey and see what's popular and then that's what we'll do. No, he says, I don't, it does, it, I, I wish it were popular, but even if it weren't, I really believe that this is the right thing to do. And that's why I will do it. That's why people are respecting him. That's why people are supporting him. Senator Franco. One of the smartest people I've ever met. Mm. He's, he's canny, he's clever, he's a very clever guy. We don't agree on many things, but you know, I, I, I respect him for his, his intellect and his, uh, uh, and his, his skill. At, uh, at, at what he does. The late, uh, great Miriam Defensor Santiago. Oh my, what a, what, what a person. That, she, was, she was something. I mean, um, I, I <clears throat> sort of wandered into her orbit only really when, she was, when we were in the Senate together. Mm -hmm. And I was quite uh, surprised to discover that <clears throat> we agreed on many, many things in policy. Not everything. Not necessarily anything, but uh, we agreed on many, many things in policy. But my first true exposure of, of, of Miriam was our first rally in 2010, the 2010 election, okay. as uh, the senatorial candidates of Manny Villar, mm -hmm. who was running for president. And she goes up to, and we were allowed, all of us were allowed, because there are 12 of us, mm -hmm. and so we were all allowed five minutes to speak. This was the first speech of the campaign. So he, she gets, <clears throat> so five minutes, there's a guy, you know, with five minutes, three minutes, two minutes. You know. So we get up there and do our thing. And Miriam, of course, because she's Miriam, yeah. she shows up and the schedule is changed. <laughs> so Miriam goes next. So Miriam goes. And she goes, she makes a hilarious speech, like only Miriam could make. She was talking about backhoeing people because they were corrupt in government. Yeah, what is a backhoe? Remember, because it just, um, but one case had just I, happened yeah, yeah, yeah. where oh, they backhoed the, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I said, can you say that? It's too soon, <laughs> right? Too soon. <laughs> but she could, and people laughed. And only, like I said, only Miriam, uh, only Miriam could, could pull that off. Anyway, there's the, the, the fellow with the three minutes, the two minutes, and so finally, time. So she, so she comes down, clearly not finished with everything she wanted to say. She sits down next to me. I guess all of the material that she had prepared, that she wasn't able, she used on me. I was an hour and a half cracking up. I mean, she just made me laugh, and she made me laugh, and she made me laugh. And uh, since then, our friendship was cemented. Yeah. Well, there'll never be another person like that. I don't yeah. think so. I don't think so. They're, 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 she, she, you could describe her as unique. Mm -hmm. The divorce bill. Divorce bill, that's another tough one. Uh, I, I, I'm a great believer in the institution of marriage. And I believe that in certain places, uh, the reason the divorce rate is so high, because it's too easy to divorce. And I think that's the reason the divorce rate is so low in places like the Philippines, because it's not so easy to divorce, so you try harder to make the marriage work. Dengbaksya. Dengbaksya. Well, what a, what a mess. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not, I don't know about whether or not it, was, uh, it causes all of these medical problems. But the way that it was, that it was implemented clearly again, was, had a political purpose to it. Uh, it was fundraising for, for, for uh, the LP. Gay marriage. Oh, gay marriage. That, that used to be hard for me because the, 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 my, I'm a Roman Catholic and the church said one thing and I wasn't quite, quite uh, completely in agreement. But our new pope came along and he gave us a direction which I followed. Who am I to judge?
Tatlo pa, ngayong araw na ito, May 9. May 9, ibig sabihin, dawang taon na. Wala nang eleksyon, kaya kapakatangang masyado. Sa ito, doon, ang, 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 ang uh, inaalala natin, yung 2 years ng May 9. Ito naman, banda rito, 91 days naman ang 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 magpapakilala natin itong mga supporter dito kahit na 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 Kahit 91 days, hindi natin ang ang ating pinaglalaban, nakatuhanan, katarungan, at ang tamang resulta sa nakarang halalan. Maraming maraming salamat!